Pterodactyl here, and as you can tell from my chest mounted calendar, it's September 2016. Today's how to is going to be on this here X300. It's a troubleshooting video. Customer brought this in, said it's got no spark. So I got the parking brake on, spark tester hooked up. Hey! For once, customer was right, got no spark. So, first thing I did was, I disconnected this black wire. This is the kill wire that goes to the coils. Got spark now, it'll start. As I touch it, it dies. All right, why? Why is it doing that? Maybe it's got bad key switch. It's got an electrical problem, don't it? Well, this is the problem right here. Up under here is what's called an electronic control module or interlock module. And that's what's wrong with it. 10 millimeter bolt holds it on. You take that bolt out and that module comes out. You have to get this from John Deere. It's a dealer item. Or if you want, you can just unplug that wire and when you want to kill it, you shut the key off. It'll cut the solenoid off on the carburetor and after about 15, 20 seconds, it'll die on its own. So I went over to John Deere and got the module. There's the part number. The part number was actually on the module too itself. It's about, it's over, over $70. So I'm going to plug the module in. And then we plug that kill wire, yep, plug that kill wire back in. And let's see. That module, so if you got one of these X300s and it's giving you the flux because the got no sparkage, it's probably this module. So I showed you how to go about testing it. And as always, whew, getting dizzy. Where are you? Start your dinner! <laughs>